Welcome back to Timber Borders. It's been a very long time, so I need to harmonize. This is gonna be a brand new season. Because Timber Nation Street didn't have this awesome theme song, I realized the song makes the entire thing. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome to season 7 of the Timber Borners. Yes, the Timber Borners are back. YouTube's favorite beaver soup. Uh, now we actually have a rival with uh, Timber Nation Street. But yeah, honestly, that mod was a little bit too much going on. Oh no, look, I was putting my shaft in the wrong hole. But uh, yeah, this is the official update 5 release. Um, and the devs have actually sponsored this video. So if you want to check out this update, boost the link in my description and that will take you to Steam where you can download it yourself. So thank you so much devs for supporting the channel. Um, and thank you so much for this update. We have poo water. Look, it's poo. My whole life has led to this moment. Anyway, it's not actually poo. It's called bad water. Why do we have to clean up the human's mess? Oh, is it poo? It might be our poo. It might be human poo. Human poo in the beaver world. But yeah, we're on we're on a map called the Mountain Range. I'm all at, oh, there's more poo over. Oh, there's loads of poo over this way. Oh, look at all that poo. But yeah, so we're we're playing on this Mountain Range map. So we've got two water sources above us, and that comes down to a single sort of stream past our district center, where the poo water then joins in, and then downstream we've got like diluted poo leaving the map. Uh, we're playing as the Iron Teeth once again, and as always, these are named after my Patreons. Now, I'm going to start off with the King Engineers, because obviously they're kings. They deserve to be in the new season of Timberborners. But uh, after that, anyone Engineer and above will get the chance to appear in this season. Anyway, right, I, I need to remember, how, how do you play this game again? I haven't... <laughs> I haven't played this from the start in ages. So we are going to need some water pumps. So a deep water pump. We will shove that there. Although I've just remembered I need logs. Look up there. I've got no logs. So I guess first things first then. Let's do a path from our district center over to that staircase. And then up here, if I just do a little path to the back there, just so we can get all the trees. We can then come into the wood tab. We can get the lumberjack flag in. And let's wang three of those down. All right, then we'll press play. We'll see. We've only got two builders, so we'll up that twice. We've now got four builders. I'm Destructor Man, Kalishnikov, Rudy King, and Chris. So they will come over and start building that. And then we're going to have three lumberjacks. And if I select these trees to be cut down, we've got the great engineer Khan, Koyokoi, and Susan. And they should come out to tree. Oh, is that a new? That's a new animation, isn't it? Oh, look, the trees are actually shaking. Oh, they chew on like different sides. They've added so much stuff. <laughs> I know it's just tiny little things, but look, you can see the trees wobbling as they're chewing them. And they actually they actually chew them now. So yeah, they turn them into logs, put the logs on there, and then builders can come over and then start building. So we've got the water pump there. I need some food as well. So I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to have a path from there over to that staircase just to get down to this area. So I reckon along here, I'll come into food and we'll get a gatherer flag on the goat. So if I shove that there, that should cover all of those berries. So so that's now built. We got Labradog in there. I'm going to say prioritize the berries. So they'll gather those berries. Although they've literally just started their first ever job. Labradog is employed, but they've started about a minute before before the end of their shift. So <laughs> <laughs> so now you get you get some time off. And unfortunately, I don't have anything for you guys to do in your in your free time. So you're all just going to stand around looking absolutely clueless. You look like my editors. There's Kendall there. Hello. <laughs> they ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. All right. So anyway, we'll fast through the night because I, I don't like night cycles in games. Particularly this game. I mean, look at the poor little beavers sleeping out in the cold. They don't have a shelter or anything. Anyway, the sun is now rising, so it's now morning. So more logs are being collected. Berries are getting collected. Um, oh, we've got our first log pumper. Who's going to go in there? Oh, no, no, no available workers. There's no available workers. I think that's because everyone's got a job. So let's just reduce the number of those. So one of you four, it's going to be your lucky day because you are Timberborner's first log pumper of the season. It is really a king. Congratulations. Now work that wood so the rest of us can drink. Okay, right. So we now have the basics sorted. We have a food income. We have a water income. I should probably actually get some water storage down. So they take 15 logs. So I reckon if I shove maybe two of those along there for now. Um, oh yeah, what I need to do. I was just thinking about the upcoming dry season. So in this game, if you haven't played this before, uh, the water doesn't always run like this. So at the moment, we're in a normal wet season. At the end of the 
another cycle, which is completely random in length. Uh, it will become the dry season, and then these water sources will dry up, meaning all of that water will just run down and then it'll be completely dry. We'll have no water to pump up with our logs. All of our berries will die. All of our trees will die. So generally, as, as quickly as possible, you want to get some dams in. And usually you'd go about this by just saying, yeah, I'll just, I'll just dam down the bottom here. But because we're mixing with the poo water, I probably want to do this like upstream. So maybe like across here. Although I'm a little bit worried about that. So that's like the ground next to the poo water. It looks quite contaminated. Now I don't want to make my beavers sick. So yeah, let's go into landscaping. We've got dam pieces. They cost 20 logs each. I think if I shove that across there, just upstream of the contaminated ground, and that should allow us to store at least a little bit of water back there. Uh, and it should allow us to like walk across the top as well, because you can put paths on top of these. So I can say path across there. And look, we've got hand railings, safety first. So that's good. Ooh, all of our beavers are thirsty at once. So really a king. you got to pump your wood a bit faster. Pump, pump, pump. Um, right, and then it's it's the end. It's the end of the day. I'll tell you what. Then I'm going to get another deep water pump in. Uh, we got another night time, so let's just fast forward through that. The dam is taking construction. I might actually, because we're low on water, I might prioritize the construction of this water pump. Right, that's sorted. I will need some more wood, but perhaps I'll just get that from these. Are these oak trees? Yeah, these are oaks. So each one of these oak trees has eight logs in them. So that is actually a really good haul because if you look at these these little like stubby ones, they've only got two logs in each. So yeah, we've really, really blitzed through those. In fact, I may need to, I may need to come and like cut down some of these trees, the pines. So let's just do a path up that way. We'll shove two of those up there. All right, and then we're all good. So another thing I know we're going to need fairly soon is a bit of science so we can unlock stuff. So if I have a look in here, the inventor hut costs 12 logs to build, but it will create me one science an hour. Um, oh, and another thing I need to do as well, I need to get some breeding pods on the go. So yeah, I'll shove an inventor hut sort of up here because we're not really we're not really worried about the ground up here. It's just brown. Down here, this is prime like farming land or tree growing land. So we don't really want to build buildings down here if we can help it. But yeah, right. Anyway, let's cut a few of these trees down. I'm not going to say all of them. And in fact, I'm only going to select the adult trees because I could I could say cut down the baby trees, but that seems a bit harsh. It's better to leave trees without parents than to leave parents without baby trees, in my opinion. I'm just trying to think ethically here. But yeah, look, look up here. These have all gone. And actually, you're sat on your butt. Who's that? The Great Engineer Khan. They earned their title, Great Engineer. And now they just sit on their butt doing nothing. I think they've done the hard yards. It's coasting time now. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. I'm pausing you. You're not working there anymore. And hopefully, he'll actually come work up here. So yeah, he's gone into that one. Decent. Now, by the way, we, we now have the two log pumpers on the go. So we are collecting water up to 37. That is good. Who's gone in there? It's Montana Williams. Aren't they like, yeah, they're like seven. They're already work in their wood. Uh, what isn't weird though? We are building the dam. You can see the water actually. It's sort of going a little bit narrow. We have water physics. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to build that before the dry season strikes. And then I can focus on stuff like getting science on the go and things. Um, but yeah, I feel like for the basics, we've started well. I, I should think about getting a farm actually before I get too cocky. So farmhouse and question, can I put a farmhouse up here and still plant down there? Yes, it looks like I can for the most part. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to shove that there and then I'm going to say plant crops. Oh, I forgot about all these crops. So I think kohlrabis are the thing you can eat raw. I think the other ones require like cooking or fermenting. So yeah, we'll get a patch of kohlrabis down. Oh no, I've just... <laughs> These guys were just sleeping on the grass. Now they're sleeping in the mud. Sorry about that. Who is that? Labradog and Phoebe. I'm sorry, Phoebe. You're only four. I made you sleep in the mud. Okay, good, good, good. We, we got the farmhouse. So now we have a farmer planting all of that up. There you go. Just get that planted real quick. And then if you're done by the end of the day, which looks like they just about are, thanks to some time lapsing, uh, we can then pause that job. And then those two beavers can go do something productive now. Um, oh, look, there's someone sat on their butt there. Is that because... 
because you're full of berries. Yeah, Labradogs, they've picked 20 berries. So they can't pick any more. So I need some storage. So if we come into storage, we store berries in a warehouse. And we'll probably want quite a lot of them. So what I'm thinking, small warehouse like there probably. Tell it to store berries. I might then put another one down that way. Just with a path going to the back like that. And then this one can store something else. Probably the kohlrabis. So food very much sorted now. Oh, the dam's nearly sorted as well. The dam just has one more piece in. Just missing 18 bits of log. Um, oh, no, 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 no. We've used up all the wood up here. So these two beavers, they don't know what to do. So Susan, you're fired. Koi Koi, you're fired. Hopefully one of you has gone up here. Then I'm going to want another one to come over that way. I assume we can't actually reach that far with these. Yeah, no, we can't. Going to need an extra lumberjack flag on this side just to start chopping down some of these. I'm a little bit worried though. That's on the contaminated land. Will that make my beavers sick? Dunno. But we can't build any of that till we have our dam in anyway. And to be fair, we are running out of trees. I'm gonna have to try and cut down a few more of these. But I need to finish this dam. I need to get my storage in as well. And then actually, I need to have a look to see to see like what the bad water stuff is. If we have a look through all of these, where is like the bad water? Ooh, irrigation barrier. Stop soil irrigation and contamination from spreading beneath it. Oh, so is that how you stop this spreading? So I could probably put like the barriers. What do they look like? Oh, they're like stakes in the ground. As in wooden stakes, not like fried stakes. But yeah, so I could just do like a wall of them along there and then presumably this side would be okay. Maybe. What else have we got? Oh man, deep mechanical fluid pump. Ooh, a centrifuge. What is that? So four atomic symbol. I assume that means bad water, does it? Heavy duty machinery transforming the dangerous bad water into usable extract. Oh, anyway, anyway, while we're distracted, the dam is in. Phoebe is sat on their butts doing nothing. So what I need to say is cut down some of these trees. Yes, you gnaw on that tree, Phoebe. You give it a gnaw. Okay, so centrifuge cleans water. We've then got a bad water discharge. It seals a bad water source. Can be opened or closed at will. When open, maintains bad water flow. Okay, so that is like a door for them. So presumably you grab one of these and you you come up to like the source and you shove that on top. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look, there's loads of new well-being stuff. So a decontamination pod, a vat in which beavers can recover from bad water exposure. So they do get contaminated. Oh dear. We've also got a scratcher. What does that look like? Oh, it's like a car wash thing. Does it spin around? We've got an exercise plaza. We've got a wind tunnel. What? We've got a theater. Sorry, a motivatorium. Loads of new stuff. Okay, cool. For now, though, our beavers, they're still very homeless. Oh, and I've forgotten something. I have actually forgotten something. We need to get some breeding pods down. So they turn water and berries into beavers. Actually, what's that next to it? Advanced breeding pod. Utilizes an advanced breeding process to produce adult beavers. No more baby beavers. Oh, look, and that takes the berries and the extract. You know, when you clean bad water. Oh, that's really cool. But uh, quite a way off because you need treated planks, metal metal blocks, as well as a thousand sites. So yeah, let's just get the breeding pod down. Right, so this is going really, really well so far. I'm actually super chuffed. Um, oh, look, we, we're making science as well. Susan is our first scientist. That is perfect. We've got quite a bit of water stored up. I might grab another water storage unit. I think that's wise. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're, we're in a really good position now. now. I just need to think like ahead in terms of what happened here. All the trees have gone. We completely deforested everything. We are making a dent through these oaks. We're also making a dent through these pines up there as well. So what I will need is a forester because uh, they will allow me to plant trees as well as bushes. But look, as well as the science, I need planks. Now, in order to get planks, I need an industrial lumber mill. But this requires power. So let's work out where we want this. I mean, oh, Ooh, what I'm thinking, actually. In a drought, would I be correct in thinking the water dries up, but the bad water doesn't? Is that where bad water comes into play? You have constant supply of running water. I did I did air apostrophes there. You, you probably just couldn't see it. Actually, let's give my editor some, some work to do. Editor, show me on screen. Uh, there I am. Now put my two hands up in the air. Yeah, there we go. Now with my two fingers. So I'm doing like a peace sign and then we'll make my fingers move. Water. Nice. And that's why you're paid the big bucks.
All right, so if we want to shove our lumber mill down, I think power can go into this any way around we want. Then if we come into power, we should have, yeah, compact power wheel. So I can shove that next to it. And that should make us some power. I mean, alternatively, we also have the... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what? No, 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 no. What have you done, devs? Where's the where's the wheel of shame? There's water wheels. There's no wheel of shame. They've replaced it with this. A large power wheel. Whoa, look at that. But that's no good. It's not a wheel of shame. <laughs> What am I meant to do with this? So yeah, anyway, I slightly tweaked this because I, I moved it forward a bit just so we have a gap behind. Because what I figured, I probably want to stack these across so that we can get more power to it. But uh, if we want to get into there to build, we're going to have to, we're going to need platforms, which means I won't be able to do that for some time because I don't really want to risk beavers getting sick by going in that water. And I've also just got to do a footpath over to there. And what I want to do, I want to up the priority of that so that this gets built before that because if they build this first they won't be able to build that power wheel at all so yeah right i think i think that's sort of good we should be able to make logs at some point and hopefully all the way through the dry seasons as well all right anyway the breeding pods are down can we still glitch through to see these yeah so if i just glitch through this one can you see that is <laughs> that's an embryoric embryoric embryo embryo-ish however you want to call it that's a baby beaver. Something else I want to do, I think. I want to try and get some log storage down. So storage, large industrial pile. I think that sounds sensible. And then if I shove that like in this corner, then we should be able to build on that later on. Like I can put like another one like there facing that way. I think that's clever. But yeah, we'll just say store logs in both of them for now. Right. Oh, look, the kohlrabis are grown. So I need to get this back on the goat. So unpause the farmhouse. We've now got Bob the engineer and Phoebe in there and they should store start picking the kohlrabis and then planting new ones and hopefully i've got enough storage with the small warehouse that stores 30 oh each plant gives me two okay i mean i may need larger kohlrabi storage area in fact maybe this top one i'll swap and we'll make it store kohlrabis oh look the log pumpers are doing nothing i need more water storage all right up here they've run out of logs to cut down as well give them permission to cut down a few more all right and then down here yes we have power down here. So that's creating 94 power from the from the poo water. I've literally turned poo into power again. It's like my City Skylines video. <laughs> anyway, this lumber mill. Oh, I only need 75 power to actually get going. Oh, that's decent. So yeah, we should we should have planks very soon. And then with those planks, we can get a forester done, start planting trees. We can also get stairs, which will be useful. Um, what I sort of want to happen now, though, is for a drought to happen. See if we keep this power. Because if the poo water just sticks to like this side and doesn't go over there, we may actually lose power and then building it down here was pointless. But uh, we will see. Right, okay. Lumber mill is a goat. Let's sack one of you two log pumpers because he's not actually pumping anymore. So we'll do my favorite thing when I'm when I to make an important decision eeny meeny miny mo catch an architect by its toe if it bites let it go eeny meeny miny mo montana williams you're sacked but now oh look they're carrying they're carrying logs themselves down to the lumber mill so that they can start making planks so that's actually thinking like an engineer taking logs on your way fair play but yeah i'll get another industrial pile up here and i'll say you can store the planks that we make and that's fairly close so they won't be traveling too far remember logs will also be stored down here so again they'll be doing much less running in a bit for now though they've got to run all the way up to where the logs were being collected not ideal and we're right oh yes look now we've got 60 science we finally have some planks on the go so if we come into wood we can get a forester on the go so yeah let's unlock that boosh 60 science thank you and then we'll plant this or build if you want to get technical maybe in that gap there because then i can keep the i can keep the oak on that side i can then come to plant trees and bushes i can say right plant all of that with oak trees and what's the area like okay so maybe all this area here can also be oaks i mean i can try and get up here actually once i get some steps unlocked what do steps take to unlock Se 70 science that's a lot of science anyway good news everyone i am destructor man they are not destructive by nature because look, they have just built the forester. So if I now reduce the number of builders, Kalishnikov has now become a forester and they should start planting little baby oaks. So here he is planting the first little oak seedling. Okay, this is good. This is good stuff. For now though, a few more storage things. And Oh no, look, who's that? Labradog's hurt his foot. He's got a little bandage on his foot. So yeah, he's got an injury and refuses to work. Oh no. Okay, we've got to try and try and heal him. So if we come to well-being, what do we need? What do we need? Oh, we need a medical bed. 80 science that is, Labradog. What are you doing? So basically, he's a waste of space now. Literally nothing 
nothing we can do about it until we get more science. And I need science for like everything else. So that, that's annoying. We're, we're a beaver down. Uh, something also to note. You can see how far we got through the kohlrabis on the left. And the ones behind have started growing. But if you look at food, we're not actually gaining any food. So that is the area and two jobs required to feed 12 beavers uh, that's that's not ideal and that means maybe we should move on to another type of food maybe the cassava so i think with the cassava we need a fermenter yeah because then you can ferment them you can turn four cassavas into 10 fermented ones which are the edible version but again that needs power and it's another job and it's another area so i need another farm i don't have any beavers come on baby beavers breed oh look the breeding pre oh we do actually we're very close to having our first baby beavers that is good no one's even started dying yet and i'm already like well out of jobs all right speaking of which look they're literally just born on the path right there <laughs> it's scientist nate they've just been born oh look we had another birth they were just born into a field tony montana with fours so that's good though we do have to wait for them to grow up we we, we don't have child labor here unfortunately anyway oh look at this drought approaching oh that's a new like icon thing so in three days there will be a drought now uh, not gonna lie i'm really intrigued to see how a drought works i've got to make sure first though we are actually set for a drought so i think we got enough water storage we got 104 40-ish water. That probably should be enough. What I am worried about though, food. I mean, as long as we keep water here, this area will stay green. But uh, as you can see, we're eating food faster than we're growing it, basically. So I need somewhere else to grow food. Now down here, you could argue with all this poo going past, you're going to have like fertilized ground. But I don't know what happens when when it's the drought. I imagine like the, the ground next to it will get contaminated because it's no longer diluted. So maybe down here, I don't want to do that so instead perhaps up here this will be my food area so let's get another farm in we'll shove that in the middle like that and then i'm gonna get the cassavas on the goat maybe i do just do kohlrabis for now because i sort of know like the the area i need if i do like that area that leaves me space there for water storage if i need it yeah we got quite a lot of planks actually i might i might turn off the planks or at least reduce you down to just one worker because yeah oh look you can see all the planks in the in the plank storage uh right oh dear oh dear we're literally we're out out of food we are out of food how did this happen how did this happen thankfully our farmhouse yes our farmhouse is built so labrador has gone in there and hopefully if that covers yes it covers down here so they should start harvesting some of those kohlrabis that are already done so i think what i might do i might get another if i pause the builders i'll get another farmer in there and then hopefully we're getting food twice as fast which hopefully means our food will start increasing rather than being at zero i'm also expecting the berries to grow back at some point soon because that is another food source as well all right so things going fairly smoothly it's it's literally the final day before the drought uh, bran and riley they've just been born into what could be a very very painful experience i'm hoping though we've got the dam in we've got water stored we're now storing food yeah sort of storing food i think we might be okay right yeah the sun is rising so the drought has started which means these two water sources they will dry up you can see the trees behind they go yellow and brown uh, they will die eventually if they don't get water same with these berries up here uh, although there is a bit of a depression there so that's holding some water keeping this dry oh the first drought is three days long oh i wasn't expecting that that's quite a long time anyway so yeah that's completely out now so the water down here i want to pause these two log pumpers because it's more important because i've already got water stored it's more important that i leave this like blue so that all my plants down here are still green they can still grow oh no no the food water's stopped oh so that's what it looks like that is the bum hole of the map it's <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> bit too far that one so yeah annoyingly oh that means down here we've got no power oh dear okay so we're gonna have to pause montana williams no more logs for us the dream of having water power throughout every season is now over um oh although look this ground is no longer contaminated. Ooh. So I don't actually need platforms to, to build those. I could get stairs unlocked. 70 science. I've got 90 science. Bingo. Unlock those. Yes, please. All right, then we're going to shove stairs there. Connect that up. And then hopefully we can get some of these built. So that when the water does come back, uh, we should have quite a big power network. Then we can add like the stuff we wanted to add. Like the fermenter and stuff. Okay, cool. This is good. Oh, what isn't good though? I have no build. Hang on, let's just unpause that. 
<laughs> All right, look, 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 here's the cavalry. Here's the cavalry building the steps. And then we got three days while this is dry to do this. And <gasps> no, Labrador died of old age. No, of all the beavers to die. I did not want Labrador to die because Paddy is a Labrador and he's also a dog. And so I've got special connection with Labrador. Oh, Paddy, Paddy, Labrador has died. So I think we'll have a moment silent in the name of Labrador. And we'll say thank you to the devs for sponsoring this video. Please boost the link in my description if you want to check out the game yourselves uh, whether you're whether you're new or old to the game this update is very cool changes quite a lot so it's a brilliant time to fire it up again uh, but for now i'll say peace love and rip labradog bye guys